Hey guys, welcome to my nine to five day in the life working as a people consultant in London. Although I have quite a traditional office job, since COVID, I work from home a lot more than I used to. So although I do go into the office a couple of times a week, when I am working from home, I like to wake up between 7 and 7.30, make the bed, let natural light in, and then my number one priority is a cup of tea straight away, which I enjoy as I get out of the shower and get ready for my day. Good morning guys. I hope you're all having such a lovely week. It is about 7.45 in the morning for me. I've just got out of the shower and I'm about to start doing my skincare and makeup. Today is a work day for me, so we're gonna spend the day together. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about what it is that I actually do and how I spend a day working from home for my nine to five job. As I know that a couple of you have asked to know a bit more about what it is that I actually do. So this is a very realistic day for me working from home. Working from home obviously means I don't have to commute, which is amazing, so I've got a little bit more time in the morning. So yes, at the moment life is so chaotic, I've fully run out of my moisturizer because I am not on top of my life enough to have gone and bought some more. So I'm currently making my way through little samples of skincare. So this might very well be the worst skincare you've ever seen, but today I'm using the One One Skin Y Theorem Day Cream NAC or NAC Y2. I mean, goodness, what a complicated name. But it looks very nice, so let's hope that it is because I haven't got anything else to put on my skin this morning. For me, typically on a work day, like I really need to be at my desk by 8.30, definitely before nine. So I don't have a huge amount of time in the morning because I refuse to wake up crazy early. I just like my sleep. So I get up about 7.30, I've got an hour to do my thing and get ready for the day, which to me is a cup of tea, some breakfast, a shower, and getting ready. So for me, getting ready involves normally some moisturizer, maybe some vitamin C serum, which I'm not using today. Of course, we use our obligatory SPF. I, at the moment, I'm using the Kiehl's Ultra Light Daily UV Defense, which I'm actually really enjoying this Kiehl's one. It feels really nice. So stick some of that on under my neck as well. I'm so bad at neglecting skincare on my neck. Oh, this cream is quite good at sticking my eyebrows up. Goodness me. For makeup, some days I literally don't do anything. I just can't be bothered to do anything whatsoever. But on days when I have slightly more important meetings like today, I'll usually put a little bit of something on. So I'm going to use my trusty Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which is literally like my ride or die product. Obsessed. Couldn't live without it. This is just showing you how much of a real life mess I am right now. I don't even have my brush cleaned, so this is getting rubbed on with my fingers, which feels so wrong to me. Oh my God, I never ever apply makeup with my fingers. But anyway, on we go. Oh, I already feel a little bit more alive and more glowy. And then I've got the NARS Creamy Concealer and I think I'm creme brulee. Yeah, creme brulee. I'll just stick a little bit of that under my eyes because I get such dark eyes. I know we've all got our own like things. My thing is having crazy dark eyes and always looking like I'm running on about two hours sleep when I actually always make sure I get more like eight or nine. So, <laughs> and then a tiny bit of eyeshadow just to give my eyes some shape, but not really. Mascara. I literally have to use eyelash curlers, otherwise my eyelashes stick straight out. I literally find mascara makes the biggest difference for me and the the Hourglass Unlocked is my very, very favorite mascara. I've made a bit of a mess, but I'll wait for that to dry before I Q-tip that away. And then I use a bit of this Bright Cherry Brightening Serum in, I don't really know what color this is, Sunny Flash. And I basically just stick a bit of that on as my kind of contour slash blush. Sometimes I stick a bit of lip liner on to kind of correct where my face makeup has encroached on my lips a bit. And that is me done. I also did not have time to wash my hair today. And to, to be honest, I kind of want to wash my hair tomorrow anyway, because tomorrow's Friday. So that means dry shampoo. I just use Batiste. I always feel like I need so much of it. Isn't dry shampoo just such a miracle product? I mean, what would we all do without it? Okay, that is my face and hair done. And now I need to get dressed. And then this is what I'm wearing today. Believe me, I do not always wear jeans. Yesterday was the first day of my period. So I literally wore pajama bottoms all day. I can never get away with wearing like pajamas on my top half, even when I'm working from home, just because I'm on camera all day on meetings. But yeah, today I'm feeling a little bit better. Everybody knows the first day of your period is just the very worst. So I've got some Zara jeans on, I even wear slippers, because to be honest, even just wearing slippers makes me kind of feel like I've got shoes on in a way. It just makes me feel like a bit more put together. Got jeans, I've got literally like a mango tank top on, a big Zara black roll neck, and this is me. Super comfy, super chill, takes two seconds to throw on, and 
I'm all ready for my day. Okay, so this is a proper look at my desk setup. I do actually have a proper desk in the second bedroom, but it faces a wall. And to be honest, I quite like being able to just like look outside while I'm working. So mostly I work here. I do move between the two locations, but I'd say 80, 90% of the time I'm working at my kitchen table. At the end of each working day, I basically end up packing up the bits that I need and shoving them to one side. So I've then got my table clean and ready for me to enjoy my dinner, etc. And then this is literally how I set up for my day. I have got my two work notebooks that I use religiously. These are moleskin notebooks. I absolutely love my moleskin notebooks. I then literally transfer my laptop over. I've got these two. And then honestly, one of my favorite productivity tips, which I think makes such a huge difference to my day is I have this notebook, which is like my personal notebook, essentially of to-do lists. Essentially each week I'll have a fresh page on this notebook where I write down anything that is not work related that pops into my mind. I just think it's completely natural for your mind to wander throughout the day. So if I'm sat here working on a task and all of a sudden it pops into my head, like I need to remember to get more moisturizer, for example, which I have failed to do this week. I'll stick that on here or if I need to remember to pay my electricity bill. I'll basically write it on here. So at the end of the day or halfway through the day, I've got a bit of a list. Like I needed to change my sheets. I needed to clean the mirrors. And this notebook basically just acts as my brain dump throughout the day when I feel like something pops into my head that I can't concentrate on now because I'm in a meeting or I'm at work. I can basically stick it on the list and then I know that it's captured and I won't forget about it. I also have this little candle here because I always like to light a candle for the last hour of my day which just makes me kind of feel like I'm winding down, ready to shut off. But I just love having it sat there, ready for my wind down. And at the moment, I've got my gorgeous, gorgeous Valentine's flowers, which are so nice to have to look at while I'm working. I just think that they're so pretty and so, so gorgeous. Look at those roses. But yeah, I do always like having some flowers on my desk while I work. You guys know that I take a little bit of a break from buying flowers over the winter, but spring is coming. So I am gonna be back buying myself flowers very frequently and I just think it makes such a big difference to my little work setup. But yeah, that's my work setup. Nothing extravagant, nothing fancy. The only thing that's missing is my large glass of water and a cup of tea. So I'm gonna go get those things now and then start cracking with my day. So I've got about 20 minutes before I need to start work. And I always really like to get a couple of jobs done in the morning when I'm working from home, just because I've got the time and it makes me feel productive. And, and also these chores just have to get done. So this is basically like my laundry room, essentially. Got my last washing load all drying on here, which I need to take off and fold. And then I've just taken the washing out of the washing machine and dumped it all on here, which I now need to hang up on here. So that is what I'm gonna do now. This is the pile that I folded yesterday, which as you can see, should have been put away, but has not been yet. So I'm gonna do this switch now for, stick that on the dryer, stick that in the pile, and then the pile gets taken and put away in my wardrobe. So I'm gonna do that now, get that done, and then I'm gonna make some breakfast and get started with work. another cup of tea i've got myself a red bush or a rooibos so it's caffeine free I've got my water here to keep me hydrated throughout the morning breakfast this morning was literally a piece of toast with honey so not a lot of nutrition in that at all but delicious but it'll do the job until i can have my first break i also am a bit of a snacker so i'll have some more food pretty soon but i'm gonna finish my toast now dive into my emails it's about quarter to nine so that's a pretty good time for me to start really dive into some emails before my meetings get started in about 45 minutes but yeah that's my morning before i start work and i'll check in with you a bit as soon as i've got a break in meetings and tell you a little bit more about what exactly it is that i do okay so i've just finished quite an intense morning of meetings and i've actually had one put in just after lunch so I need to have something relatively quick. For lunch, most days when I'm working from home or working in general, I'll just have something really quick. So either soup or salad. Salad obviously takes a little bit longer to make. So today I'm literally gonna be sticking some soup that I've got 
in a jar in the microwave with some bread and I'm gonna scoff that down in the next 20 minutes, half an hour before I join my next call. And then after my next call, I do then have a little bit of a break where I've got kind of half an hour to an hour to get some work bits done. So during that time, I'll definitely pop on and talk you through a bit about my morning and what I've been up to and what I've also got coming up this afternoon. But I absolutely do love cooking. So if I do ever have time to make more of a proper lunch, I absolutely will do. But whilst work is crazy, I've absolutely no shame in just sticking pre-made soup into the microwave with some bread. Might see if I've got some peas or spinach to stick in with it. And that is lunch sorted for me, delicious. So let's do that now because I am hungry. This is literally lunch. I mean, the most basic thing in the whole world. But to be honest, I don't think there is anything more elite than bread, butter, and tomato soup. I've stuck some pepper and a bit of chili oil on top. And that is it. Ready in literally three minutes. And it means that I can eat it whilst I am sat right there. So yum. I'm literally grab myself a spoon and tuck in. Yum. which is so nice. I've just made myself a cup of tea and I'm gonna have some of this chocolate, honestly. I have not been eating very healthily today, but I'm on my period and who cares? Sometimes we can't all eat super healthy, but not gonna lie, I am actually craving something slightly nutritious this evening. So we'll see what we make for dinner tonight. But this chocolate, oh my gosh, it's so good. I recommend it so, so, so highly. I know they also have a load of vegan chocolate. This one isn't one of their vegan ones, but it is the Hue Hazelnut Butter Milk Chocolate. Oh my goodness. Honestly, it is absolutely phenomenal. So I've been slowly making my way through that this week. So I'm gonna have another square. Oh, look, you can actually see it's like filled with hazelnut butter, which basically means that it tastes like it's filled with like praline. Oh my gosh, it's... Delicious. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit more about what I've been up to today. So I work as a people consultant for, at the moment, one of the big four. So being a people consultant basically means that I am looking at organizations, people strategies. So honestly, the topics that I will do projects on are hugely varied. Sometimes I might be looking at leadership development within an organization, looking at an organization's culture, how we can improve it, looking at their behaviors and values that they work to. Sometimes it's doing change management. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. So where an organization is going through a big change, whether that is implementing a new technology system or restructuring some of its organization, they might be going through a bit of an organization design. I basically help manage that change, looking at all the people in the business that are gonna be impacted by whatever's happening, making sure all those people feel as comfortable and informed as we possibly can do before we launch the change. And that might include upskilling them if they have to learn a new system. So honestly, as a people consultant, the types of jobs that I can have and the type of role that I can do is so, so varied. At the moment, what I'm working on is a, it's a really big program and the scope of it is huge. But I suppose in a really simplified sense, it's a technology implementation. So the business that I'm working for at the moment is implementing some new technology. And I am a change lead on that program, helping to manage that change. So essentially, I have lots of meetings with lots of different stakeholders. I am trying to map out exactly what the process changes is going to be. How do certain parts of the business do things now versus how are they going to do things in the future? And then for those individuals in those roles that are going to be impacted, what new things do they need to learn? What new behaviours do they need to start exhibiting? What communications are they going to need? What support are they going to need? How are we going to make sure that they feel like their voice is heard? So what feedback loops are we going to put in place so they can feed back to us how the new system is working or how the new change is working? So that means that day to day, it's a lot of meetings with a lot of stakeholders, a lot of planning, a lot of PowerPoints, a lot of Excel documents. 
And that is basically my job. So this afternoon, let's have a look at my calendar. So this afternoon, I've got a meeting with some of the people from the technology team that are actually building the system to understand a little bit more about the functionality of one of the tools that we're implementing. And then I've got a meeting with some of my team who are gonna share with me some of the guidance documents that they've been writing for me to review. So they've been building some documents on how best to use the new tool and what good looks like in terms of using the tool. So what's like a five star example of one of the outputs that you'd get from this tool, they've been putting that together for me to have a look at. And I've then got a bit of a bigger meeting towards the end of the day to talk about the support model for the tool. So how do we make sure that everybody feels supported? What different methods of support have we got in place? Is there a helpline for people to call? Are there kind of go-to people within each of the business areas that people can go to? We call those change champions. So do we have a number of change champions? Sorry, that's my computer pinging. Do we have a number of change champions in certain business areas that are gonna be most impacted for people to go to if they need help with anything? And looking at that whole end-to-end -end support model, what is gonna be available for the end business users to help them if they need it. And then I finish off my day with a introductory call with a senior partner from one of the key business areas where I'm basically just introducing myself, telling them all about what my role is on the program, what I'll be helping them with, and making a plan for how I'm gonna stay engaged with them in the future to keep them updated on any of the key things that are changing in the business so that they feel like they are kept up to date and made aware of any changes that are gonna be coming their way because obviously they're very protective over their teams and they want to make sure that nothing comes at them out of the blue. And it's my job to kind of manage that relationship and make sure that they feel fully up to date and comfortable. And yeah, that's my day. And then apart from that, I'm gonna drink my tea, eat my chocolate and look forward to dinner when I can finally get up and have a walk around and hopefully get outside. So yeah, that's what I do. I hope that wasn't too boring of a ramble about what I do. I mean, it's definitely just an office job like so many of us have, but I do really enjoy it. And I've been doing it for about five and a half years now and don't see myself doing anything different anytime soon. So I'm gonna get back to it because things are very busy and I'll catch up with you all in a little bit when I finish some of my calls. I really see this role as just as being the people that know where to point you next almost so like they've come they're a bit of a knowledge hub they'll say oh here's the training oh here's a kit card or here's the link to the Okay guys, we are still slogging away. We are so nearly done. It is quarter to seven now. So a later one than I had expected because I was hoping to wrap up at like 5.30 today. But I guess it's just one of those weeks. It's been pretty hectic all week. So I've got two more emails to send, just two. So I'm gonna get those written now. And then to be honest, I am so starving. I'm literally <laughs> finding it hard to get these last two emails done because I'm so hungry. And I think I'm actually just gonna order delivery, which is terrible of me, but but hopefully you guys can sympathise that when you have just a full on back to back day or back to back days in a row, sometimes cooking in the evenings is just hard. I love cooking, don't get me wrong. On the evenings when I can prioritise it, I absolutely do. But I'm craving something somewhat nutritious, so I should be cooking myself, but I think I'm going to get myself a poke bowl. Poke bowls are always ready so quickly. They get here so fast because there's somewhere that does them really near me. And I am so hungry. I'm absolutely desperate to eat some food. And to be honest, sit on the sofa and just collapse for a bit. I swear I am trying to get better at going to the gym after work, but some days it just doesn't happen. I'm By the time I finish work, it's gonna be just gone seven. I'm then gonna wanna eat. I'm gonna collapse on the sofa. But tonight is supposed to be hair wash night and the chances of me going out in the dark and the rain to go to the gym are zero tonight, absolute zero. So <laughs> I'm gonna have some good food, drink a kombucha, maybe have a bath and sink into my evening. But before I can do that, I have to finish this work. So let's write these two last emails and then we can finally be done.
before I absolutely inhale my food, I have got a poke bowl. I've loaded up today, I've been a bit greedy, but normally I get the miso aubergine. Today I've got miso aubergine and I think it's called Lomi Lomi Salmon. It's half sushi rice, half salad, edamame, wakame seaweed, spring onions, salmon, aubergine, crispy onions, and then I also get a little pot of sriracha mayo, which there wasn't loads of it this time. I've only got this little dollop. So oh, actually, no, I've got another little dollop there. And I got some sriracha mayo as well, which I'd like to stick on top. So that is my dinner and I'm extremely excited. I cannot tell you how hungry I am. So I'm literally gonna plonk myself right here, eat my food while I watch a bit of TV. And then I'm gonna do some editing and probably eat a couple of these Ferrero Rocher, which, whoo. Yum. Yeah, what a nice evening. Honestly, my evenings are my absolute favorite thing. If you haven't seen some of my evening routine videos, go have a look because trust me, we have a great time in the evening in this flat, me, myself and I. way later than I normally get ready for bed to be honest. It's already 10 past 10. I ended up in a total editing hole which I never normally do on a weeknight so I don't know how that ended up happening but just shows you that I enjoy my YouTube. So I'm now gonna wash my face and take off my makeup. I have been using this cleanser now for a good few years and to be honest I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. I swear it's transformed my skin in a lot of ways but it is the Exuvians Gentle Cleansing Cream. So I'm going to quickly take my makeup off with this and then as I said this morning because my life is a mess and I need to get a grip of myself and I've run out of moisturiser this evening I'm going to be using another sample from another skincare brand. And this is the other thing I really believe in keeping skincare super simple. So trying all these different samples over the last two days has just been ridiculous. Anyway, tomorrow I will be getting my moisturizer back again. But to be fair, I used a different sachet of this one last night and it was really, really nice. And it's the Aesop Sublime Replenishing Night Mask. And it was super hydrating, not gonna lie. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm actually tempted to buy it. So it just shows you maybe these little samples do actually work. Anyway, I'm gonna get rid of my makeup, stick on this moisturizing night mask, which to be honest, in these cold days, my skin is absolutely drinking it in. So I'm gonna do that. I need to brush my teeth. I've topped up my mint tea again, got myself some water next to my bed, and I am so ready for a sleep. I am officially all tucked up in bed. I cannot wait to get to sleep. As I said, it is so much later than I normally go to bed. So it is about half past 10 now. I'm gonna do a quick meditation. You guys know how much I love the Superhuman app. They're more than meditations. They're little mini pep talks. I'm gonna do one of those and then I'm gonna get straight off to sleep before I have to do my productive nine to five working day all over again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I would absolutely love to hang out more. Have the very best week, guys. I cannot wait to see you in the next one.